I have an amazing new video for you. Um, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I create a tapered wig um, out of a unit that is kind of a switcheroo situation. I had a client that wanted a really beautiful kinky curly wig as you see here. I made this wig with two bundles of about, I believe it was 8 inch hair and a matching lace closure that was probably about 3.5 by 4 inches. The wig was super cute. Client came in and um, really sweet lady. She's um, really mature. Um, she's just going through a time in her life where she cannot deal with anything long. So as much as she wanted a beautiful longer wig, she decided that she really wants to now take it down as short as possible in a tapered cut. So I had no problem with doing that for her. I was a little bit sad, of course, because all of the hair that is lost from this beautiful unit. But this is what is going to make her feel most comfortable. So I'm definitely willing to switch it around and create a new style. So in this video today, I am just showing you quickly how I make a tapered wig. Um, I've seen some videos on YouTube. I have yet to see one made with um, wefted hair and lace closure. I've normally seen crochet wigs that were made and then tapered or store-bought wigs that were cut into a sta tapered style. I've even seen a frontal, but I have not seen a closure. So I decided why not just film this? Um, you know, it might help somebody um, just kind of, you know, get an understanding on how to actually do this cut. So first things first is I'm going to go ahead and point cut and try to create the shape. Now for a tapered wig, you know, it's usually longer top and shorter to the bottom. Um, it depends on everyone's personal style, but generally that's kind of how the style goes. So you're going to see me point cutting just to kind of take the bulk of hair off and try to create a shape. You may also notice that I'm keeping the end down at the bottom a little bit longer and I'll explain why in a bit but I'm going to go ahead and pretty much chop off for the most part um, a good portion of this wig and try to create a shape. So now that I've created the basic shape of this wig, I'm going to go in and slowly but surely start taking the length down. I don't want to go ahead and chop too much too quickly, so I'm just going to kind of keep going around the wig and keep going shorter and shorter until I get to a point that I'm comfortable with. I'm also going to address the bottom. As you can see, it's very long. The reason why I'm keeping it long is, is that my client still needs to come back in and do a final wig fitting. Now, I'm doing the bulk of the work by shaping the wig in its shape now, but I'm going to leave it a little bit longer than what she actually wants it around the you know perimeter of her head and also down at the bottom only so that I could prepare for this appointment with her and I can actually cut it more so to her liking. This is just getting it down low enough um, so she could see the style, see what it looks like on her and I'll probably go in and do further um, tailoring in terms of cutting to accommodate her. Um, also, you know, she's concerned about the, the wig showing, you know, the back of her hair and she wants it a little bit longer so that it can definitely cover. So that's why I'm leaving a lot of length to the bottom and why it looks so thick. So one, I'll be going back in and tailoring it up when she comes. And second, she wants to make sure that it covers, you know, all the way down to the, the bottom of her hairline. So as you can see, I'm just going back in. I'm just snipping. I'm getting so depressed every time I cut. You know, <laughs> there's so much hair on the floor, but Again, what your customer wants is what you do. If you haven't also noticed, the more and more you're cutting the length off of the wig, a lot of the frizz towards the end is going away and you're just seeing these beautiful, 
popping curls. I'm going to show you later how I actually um, get the curls to look really beautiful with water and product. But I'm just loving how this is looking. This is looking so cute. If it was up to me, I would probably stop at this length um, because this is kind of the more modern look with it a little bit longer. Because she's a mature woman, she really wants it very, very short. So yes, we will be going shorter than what it is right now. I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just kind of uh, point cutting taking a little bit of the bulk out. I'm still shaping it because as you remember, I am going lower. Um, there's still the midsection and the top that I'm going to address, but I'm just taking everything else uh, and you know, just cutting it down low really nice. So now that I've actually trimmed out majority of the back, I'm going to work on the mid part of this wig. So what you see me doing here right now is sectioning, sectioning out where the closure is. I'm going to address that later. I just want to reshape the top, make sure that it blends well with everything else that I just finished working on. So it's better to do it in you know, chunks than to do it all in one. Um, just my opinion, more precision. And you know that's just the way that I work I like to do things in sections so I'm just going to go ahead and sadly I'm going to continue to cut So now I'm ready, I'm ready actually to address the closure. So I've taken the closure section out and I'm just now trying to blend everything together so everything looks cohesive and cute. Um, you know, nothing with some really long pieces. I'm kind of trying to even everything out. Um, and also, the closure was a little bit more on the frizzier side, especially to the ends. So it's kind of good that I'm cutting it because now I'm cutting off um, a fair bit of the frizz that was towards the ends of the hair. And sadly, this is, <laughs> it's still not short enough because she actually wants it shorter than this. So I am still cutting. <laughs> So now at this point, I'm just kind of looking at this wig, it's a little bit frizzy. Um, I want to take a look at what it looks like curled because you will lose some lengths once it starts to curl back up. So I'm going to stop cutting and I'm going to go ahead and wet down this wig really good with just plain water. Um, that way I could kind of see what's going on, we can give it a good comb out, see if there's any longer lengths hit, hiding anywhere in there that we can um, finish and trim up. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put some product in it as well to tame it. Um, I'm using one of these combs, it's like scalp brush, um, it's excellent to wash hair with, but it's even more amazing when you're combing out curly hair. It actually makes those curls really, really pop. Um, as I'm combing, you notice there's a couple pieces that are a little bit longer, so it is recommended that you comb it out a bit just to kind of see what's going on because there will be some hidden areas that are a little bit longer and you don't want that walking around with a couple longer pieces hanging. So it's best to you know get a good comb out, see what's going on, and then go back in and continue to reshape.
So now we're ready for some products. I'm just using this really cheap um, herbal essence. I think it was specifically for curls. We're just going to put a bit of this in, well, not just a bit, a little bit more than a bit, but we're gonna just put some in, try to work it in to the hair. And again, this is just so we can get the curls to pop. I'm using the little brush thing again to comb it out. And you're just seeing the curls just pop. They look beautiful. So this wig is pretty much done. I'm just gonna hit it up with a diffuser just to dry it out a bit to see what it looks like. Um, it's not fully done as of yet because I said client is coming back to try on and I'm probably gonna end up doing more cutting when she comes um, just to kind of you know match her face and to her liking but this is just a great way to see you know what it looks like curled up give her an idea um, I'm pretty much over with this wig now I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys how I would cut a wig tapered with a lace closure and um, left it here um, I did use a dome cap underneath, a ventilated dome cap, or specifically a crochet cap um, to make this wig. Um, this lady is transitioning in life and she's menopausing and she gets really hot and she wanted something that was, you know, really breezy, hence the reason why the wig is so short. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Um, please subscribe. I'm going to be making tons more videos and I am really happy to, you know, get back out here and make videos again. Check me out on Instagram. It's at Candy Hair Company. Thanks for watching and I'm going to let the video play out and um, you'll see the finished results. Thanks for stopping by guys.